Let's do some tests on ChatGPT's multimodal features. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. To have ChatGPT ingest images, switch to GPT-4, and you'll see new icons appear at the bottom of your mobile app. On the desktop app, it's the same. Click GPT-4 and an image icon appears on the left of your text prompt. You can either upload images or use drag and drop. Let's start with a tricky test. This is the AI World Index by Tortoise Media. Let's take this to ChatGPT and see what it can tell us. I'm also going to add some unneeded information at the top here and see if it gets confused. The question we ask is, tell me what's going on and summarize it for me. Okay, the summary is pretty nice. It shows the ranking correctly with the United States ranked at the top, China at 2, and Finland at 10. But here's the problem. If you look at the overall score of the United States, it shows a 10, while China is at 61.5. Apparently, it didn't catch this discrepancy in score. Now, to be fair, the image we uploaded has the original problem, which are the three dots after one zero, and it's not showing the complete score because of how the web page is formatted. Nevertheless, we can go a step further and ask GPT, tell me about any discrepancies in the data, which by the way is a super useful thing for auditors or the C-suite looking at reports given to them by others. Great, it was able to catch the problem, so I would give it a pass on this one. Now, can ChatGPT discern well? We'll give it a questionable image that is kind of blurry and not clear and ask it to tell us how many people there are in it. That's not bad at all. The complete outline is actually of just one person. It's kind of surprising, really, that it didn't catch the rest. And it's fair to say that the rest can be easily missed. So I'd give it a pass on this one. That was pretty good, actually. Let's do an aerial test. How many cars are in this image? And this is where it falls short. And if we force it to try to count, it gives us random numbers. So I guess, yeah, it's, it's accurate to say that it failed this one. And here's my favorite. Because the beauty of the feature, for me at least, is not really what it can tell you about an image per se, but rather when it combines the image ingestion with its massive neural network and the stored data to augment user experience. That's where the real value for me comes in. So we can take an image from TensorFlow Playground, which is a complicated image with a lot going on, and let's see how it does. I don't know what this is. I need instructions on how to use it, and please be brief. And the result is actually quite amazing, especially considering the fact that we didn't give it any context or information, just a single image. It has the data set, the features, the architecture with hidden layers, and the output. A nice, concise explanation of what is going on. And I'm excited to see what comes next, really. Have a good one.